I think the Upper Cape has the best uh, grasp of history. The Upper Cape is very special and unique because it's a collection of villages. Sandwich is a very historic town. It's one of the first villages that has the first house on the Cape. There's a lot of history and it draws a lot of people to the Daniel Webster Inn because of that. Mashpee has wonderful Mashpee Commons for shopping and um, medical facilities. And uh, Bourne is still a charming seaside village. From the Upper Cape, Falmouth specifically, you can get on a ferry and be to the vineyard in under an hour. It's got access to beautiful public beaches, the Oceanographic Institute in Woods Hole, Downtown Falmouth has world-class restaurants, shops. It really has everything you could possibly want in a community. The people who tend to live on the Upper Cape are typically people who are year-rounders. They like to be able to go off Cape for business or for work or for shopping or medical treatment. We've got world-class poets, writers, artists, scientists. We've got fishermen, we've got landscapers, we've got painters. And together they just add a real exciting dynamic to the community. If you live on the Upper Cape, there's a very important thing. You can be at a Red Sox game in an hour and ten minutes. You can be in Newport in an hour and ten minutes in Rhode Island. It offers a lot of easy travel, but it also offers the beauty of the National Seashore like some of the Lower Cape towns. From Nobsco Light, you can see the islands, the sun setting. It is absolutely the most beautiful scene I've ever seen in the world, and I've been around. It's just gorgeous. It really has everything you could possibly want, and the lifestyle is just serene. No beeping horns, no one in a hurry. Um, just a great uh, hometown America. My name is Jack Driscoll. I live on the Upper Cape. I've been in Falmouth over 30 years. My name is Alita Zarian, and I am a former resident of the Lower Cape and a very happy resident of the Upper Cape now.